for paint, the idea is that, like a paintbrush, we have resistance within the handle, but there's also softness within the bristles. The arms act like the brush handle, solid, strong, and the hand acts like the bristles, soft, graceful. As we begin paint, we want to make sure that we're painting not close to us, but far away. This creates that isokinetic feel, as if we're lifting a very large, long paintbrush. This resistance, then, will come from the body, not the shoulder. Using the back and the chest to bring those arms up to the top of the head and down to about the pelvis. There's a particular breathing pattern. We exhale with the right hand, both up and down. And then we inhale on the left hand, both up and down, allowing for a catch breath as we pass that paintbrush. As we paint up and down, it's almost like we're painting the letter U, keeping those sides of those letters so that it doesn't go beyond our knees making sure that our arms are extended so that we feel it in the back. For an analogy for paint, it's sort of like shaking out a picnic blanket. As you shake that blanket out, getting all the crumbs out, we bring the arms up and down, same distance, but the elbow stays underneath instead of forcing it out, allowing us to create that paintbrush feel in both hands as we inhale on the left, exhaling on the right. When painting, the breath itself will help. Inhaling on the left, passing the paintbrush, touching the hand as you exhale on the right. Touch, pass that paintbrush. As you inhale, catch breath, pass, touch, exhaling, 